Hello, and good day to you, my friends. We are playing in Omni Geometry. My name is Dylan, and today we're going to try this uh, solid looking three dimensional 64 tetrahedral grid that you can see before you. So, let's begin. Okay, so to begin with, it's just a very simple star tetrahedron. We want no recursion. Make sure that our base radius is 60. Make that a little bit bigger. Uh, we want Origio lines on. Copy. Flip. There we go. I'm going to copy. Uh, one of these again, we'll copy that one again, and halve the radius. Okay, uh, this is just the way to get that three-dimensional looking star tetrahedron. Uh, and with that there, I believe it is this one. We're going to keep it in the middle. This one is going to have no origio lines, and we're going to fill it in. So let's just pick a, a nice bright color. I'm going to do purple for this one. There we go. Great. I'm going to fill in the other two as well. So with both of those selected, let's change the fill to a green. Yep. And fill those shapes. Great. So looking nice and solid there. We can see the uh, the top face of that tetrahedron and the bottom base of that tetrahedron. So it's as if the peak of that pyramid is facing us and the peak of the purple pyramid is facing away from us. So that's the, the real basics. We're going to end up copying this six times. Uh, so I'm going to copy it once. And I'm going to move it around just with the directional arrow keys. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see a bit better. And holding shift just to get it perfectly in line. It's not entirely perfect, but it's good enough for our needs. Okay, and I'm going to copy again. Bring it down. That's good copy and bring them across. Now where's the line where it needs to meet? I think that I think that this corner must touch the middle. So the six tetrahedrons around the edge all need to touch that middle point. So holding shift, that's the one. Copy that, pull it up. Copy again, send it across. Copy again, send it down. There we go. Now we've got all the tetrahedrons there, but it's looking like quite a mess here. So now our task is to order the layers correctly. So we'll be selecting the three, uh, three layers of each tetrahedron and just rearranging them. So I'm going to try and find the middle one and bring it to the very top. So as I scroll down, uh, it's going to highlight the tetrahedron. And there we go, I can see those three are the layers of the middle one. So holding down shift, selecting those three. And I'm going to send it right to the top with the Alt J button. Yep, that looks better. So the task that we're doing now is rearranging them. So that the middle one's on the very top, and so three of the others, and I can never remember which ones, but we'll figure it out as we go. Three of the others are next in line, and then the other three are at the very bottom. So let's see what happens. It seems that this one is on top, so if this one is second in line, that one's first, this one is second in line, uh, let's try and make these ones the following. So 
that one should not be. So that one should actually be at the bottom. I'm just going to send that right down. Yeah, it looks like this is working. Oop. So I'm trying to find now which ones we're we doing. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. Let's find one. That one. I'm going to send that one up a little bit. Yeah, that's more like it. I think that that will do. Uh, now, what else do we have here? That one looks like it's at the bottom. This one needs to be further down. Selecting those three. Sending it down. No, no, this one needs to be up. <laughs> Great. Got it there. Nice. That's it. That's all done. So something that is really interesting to do with this is actually to rotate it with the animation. So I'm going to select everything and in the animation tab, turning off scale, turning on rotation. Now, before I just play the animation, I'm going to test what it looks like in its flipped state. So here, uh, if we're looking, let's say just looking at this green center tetrahedron, we're going to make that one go up. And to do that in rotation phase, while all of these are selected, I'm just going to rotate that by pi. Whoop. There we go. So it's not, you know, the proper form of the, the 64 grid, but it still looks pretty cool. And that all seems to be in order because of the way that I've arranged it. So when we play the animation, you should be able to see those layers. Yep, so you can see this, this one's on top. These ones are on that second level, and these ones are on the back level. Looks pretty cool, hey? Yeah, I think there's lots of things that, that could be done with this. So I'll just pause the animation, set the rotation phase back to zero. So we get that perfect form. Great. Well, I hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day and much love.